Hello, everyone. How are you? This is not a reading. This is a hello, a, um, a reintroduction, a thank you video. Today has been quite the day. Uh, what, today is Tuesday, the 30th, 6.30. Um, it's interesting, Saturday was one of the hardest days I've had in a really long time. And it's interesting, the pendulum swing to, to Tuesday, today, I, um, I went into work today and I got a new subscriber this morning and they were my 72nd subscriber. I had 72 subscribers when I walked into work this morning and I was very excited. I was like, look at me, 72 subscribers. I'm so happy. And then in, um, and it's funny cause I was out while I was working, I kept uh, talking about like the power of positivity, the power of positivity all day at work. Um, and at some point during the day, Miss Santero, who is very sweet and special to me in my heart place, shouted me out in one of her videos, an appreciation video, which was so sweet and so generous and thoughtful. And I appreciate it so much. And at the time of recording this video, I am at like 398 subscribers. So let's first and foremost put it out there like the power and influence of Miss Santero. Just like one little shout out. It's like over 300 subscribers. Like, <laughs> hats off to you, Miss. Um, I, you know, I've been telling myself for a while that I was going to do like an about me kind of video, but it felt a little pretentious. I've been like putting it off. You know, I've been busy. I don't know. Um, but given that there are a lot of new faces here, I figured that instead of filming videos, readings tonight after work, I should probably get to know you guys a little bit or let you get to know me a little bit more. Um, that's what you get for putting off, <laughs> get, putting off some of your homework. So um, I've, I've got a little glass of wine. This is not my first glass of wine. This is my third glass of wine. This is my third glass of wine tonight. I'm going to be honest and say that I was going to film this video a couple hours ago, but I don't know if it's all the new, new, the new faces, the new energy coming in that I felt like I was on crack. Like part of me was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, Santara shouted me out. Like I feel so special. It feels like Christmas. And then it's like, I saw my subscribers going up and then I felt like the wave of new energy hit and I felt like SpongeBob just like circling around the room like a little kid I was like I need to run off some of this energy I need to like tucker myself out and I'm almost 30 so the way I do that is wine so cheers everyone um but yeah I just wanted to I just wanted to just reintroduce myself say thank you just so I don't know how long this is gonna be I don't know I don't know I have no answers right now um I have more questions than answers but that's sort of the state of life but to um, anyone who's new here, which is most of you, which is most of you, um, my name is Lauren. My name is Lauren B. Um, I am 29 years old. My birthday is March 6th. I am a Pisces, Pisces power. I am a, a rising Libra. My moon is in Sagittarius. Um, my Venus is in Aries, so I can be a, a hard nut to crack. Um, my Jupiter is in Leo. Um, that's my tropic chart. So if you want to go Vedic, then I am an Aquarius. And my rising is a Virgo. And my moon is in Scorpio. Mm -hmm. And my uh, Venus would be in Pisces. Well, um, personally, I feel like for me, as uh, I get older, I grow... Um, more out of my tropic chart and I grow more into my Vedic chart. Um, in my tropic chart, my south node is a Cancer and my north node's in Capricorn. Um, and I feel as I grow, I'm in the middle, I'm in the midst of a, my Saturn return, which my friend Dave recently uh, 
illuminated me to that fact because I'm not a super well versed in astrology. I'm I'm not super well versed in a lot of things. I just kind of stumble upon things and realize that I'm good at them. It's a little bit of a, a, a jack of all trades. I'm a master of some, but not of all. You know, I can uh, I can do Reiki, but I don't really know how. I just, just, my hands get hot and I just like touch people and they're like, I feel better. And I'm like, that's great. You know, um, I, I have a ton of decks over here. I don't read the books for any of them. Um, but I, I, I lay out the cards on the board and I just see the story. I, um, I just hear things all the time and a bird flies to my left or to my right and it all just makes sense. And I'm just like, here guys, here's what I got. And somehow it all just seems to shake out, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, but where I am now is not where I've always been. And uh, I think that that's important to uh, getting to know me. Um, I think it's important when uh, trying to understand my energy and the way that I work. Um, and I think it's really important for what I do and what I'm trying to do here on this channel. So in the, in the spirit of being more open and vulnerable than I normally am on this channel about my personal life while still keeping certain things to myself, um, a year ago, about a year ago, I had hit one of the lowest points in my life. Truly, um, like I'm talking like I didn't want to be here anymore and I had fully intended on not being here anymore. And I had uh, reached out to Tarot and I started watching readings and I, uh, I kind of went through the, the wormhole with that as, as many of us do kind of always like looking for answers, looking, trying to trying to look for a compass when I, I couldn't find one in myself, like I couldn't find my own North Star. So so Spirit kind of guided me towards tarot and, and to a lot of readers. And I was very much one of those people that binge watched readings, like in a really obsessive compulsive kind of way, which in a lot of ways only made me more confused. Um, but but in the midst of that, there there was this gem that arose. And for me, that, that was San Tarot. And I, I literally remember the day that I had stumbled upon her channel and it was a really hard day for me. And I was in the kitchen and I was just like so upset and, and really at my wits end, just lysoling the counters and just like, oh, oh, oh. And just her video, one of her videos popped up and it was just the right time. It was the right place. It was just the right sentence that she said. And it just like clicked into my head that I, uh, I I wasn't alone and I wasn't crazy. I I was pretty much at the in the midst of a huge karmic cycle. Like I ruined my whole life, pretty much. Other than the love that my most of my family members have for me, and um, the fact that I was you know still employed at my job. Other than that, I had completely and totally just decimated my whole entire life which in in retrospect was a, a blessing in disguise as most of our divine detours are but just in the in the midst of my despair in the midst of a total and complete nervous breakdown you know I filmed so many of my videos out in the woods and, and we call it the magical forest and it is it is a magical forest but last year it is really where I just went every day because I had nowhere else to go and I'd go out there and, and I would cry and I would have my nervous breakdown and my existential crisis. And I would, I would talk to God and I would yell at God and I would just look for a reason to live. Just screaming and crying. And one day, I think it might have been the same day that I watched like my first San Tarot video that I had gone out there afterwards to just kind of purge, purge everything that I had kind of uh, reflected on through, through listening to her message. And it was just a day that God talked back to me. You know, it was, a, it was a connection. It was a voice that I had heard so many times when I was little, but I had told myself so many times that I was crazy. It was like, you're crazy, Lauren. 
everybody thinks you're weird, everybody thinks you're a freak, and uh, they're right. Turns out, they're wrong, and I'm right. I'm like the little kid in Big Daddy. I'm like, I got a two, a four, and an ace. I win, and they're like, how do you win? I'm like, cause I win. I was right, and, and in the midst of, of that, God talked back to me, and I shit a brick. It was the craziest thing, and I, I went through that process again. I was like, I'm crazy, is this really happening? Am I hearing what I'm hearing? Am I seeing what I'm seeing? And it took a long time to kind of come to terms with that, that I wasn't schizophrenic, that there was, I didn't need to go to the loony bin, like there wasn't something wrong with me. And I think maybe um, when you come that close, to, to death, honestly, when you come that close to, to the end, when you're in such, such a place of darkness, you have nowhere to go but up. You know, that's kind of the silver lining in it is you, you have nowhere else to look but up. And I, I kind of say that when I was able to do that, that it's sort of like God, heaven, my angels, my spirit guys. It's like uh, when I woke up, like they kind of left the door cracked open for me, you know, and I was kind of able to see them coming in and out. I was able to to hear the communication better. And it set me off on like a huge, a huge journey of of paying off karmic debts about about learning about my about myself, about why I did the things that I did, why I felt the way I felt, all of the ways in which I couldn't be accountable for my actions, all of the ways in which I was externally looking for answers and validation instead of myself. It's just it's just a snowball effect. I say it in the video sometimes. It's like a as the dominoes fall, you you don't really realize like the cause and effect of everything. It's all it's almost like after the fact, after the cycle change that you kind of see the the series of events, the, the lemony snicket aspects play out and you realize the purpose in divine detours and you realize that sometimes bad things happen to good people and that's a thing, but it, it's always for your benefit. It's always because you weren't really where you were supposed to be, you know? You, you couldn't find love in that hopeless place, right? Like, I get it. Like, I have been false flamed. I, I thought I had a twin flame and it wasn't and I thought I had friends and they weren't and I thought I was being my authentic self and I couldn't have been the furthest thing from it, you know. It's a journey. It's a lot. But I'm just here to say that first and foremost, Santero is a badass. She's a badass woman and I'm so grateful, not only for her shout out, obviously, like, but just for everything like personally that she has has done for me energetically taught me not just in a, in my sense of my spiritual journey but also like as a woman as just it's just she's so amazing and I know like I, there's so many of you here all of you are mostly here from Santara so it's like I don't gotta tell you like you already know you already know she's got the juice but I she's just so near and dear to my heart and and I the, she said in her video that she could tell I put so much of my heart and soul into my work and that meant so much to me it could it makes me a little emotional to be honest but on top of that it's important for me and and in the work that I do more than anything else is is to inspire a feeling of hope so if you are new here and you are dealing with some shit, you're going through some shit, your own bullshit, other people's shit, just like all of it. If you feel a little hopeless, if you feel like you're in a dark place, I just want you to know that a year ago, I was so lost. I wanted to die. I had no idea who I was anymore. I was sleeping on a couch. I... I was at my wit's end. I was like a frayed end on a braid. And a year later, I am, and this is, you know, through so much hard work, through through so so many growing pains, both emotionally, spiritually, physically, tangibly, like blood, sweat, and tears put into into my development, into my work, into this channel, into into just the way that I, I think about things, you know, when, when I go, oh, Lauren, that was stupid. And I go, no, it's not, Lauren, that was silly. 
that was silly. Not you're not stupid. That was a silly choice. Like just just reprogramming everything, even the way that I just talk to myself in, in my head. That it does get better. I promise you. If if you put the work in and you want it and you really and you really try and follow the guidance from spirit, it really does get better. So if you're in a hard place and, and you found yourself here, or if you're in a good place, I, I very much encourage you to, to share your, your journey and your knowledge and your wisdom with me and with everybody else here in our little troop Beverly Hills. What a thrill, you know? But it's important for me to let you know that if you're going through some shit right now, that a year ago I was in it, which is why I always say on this channel, like I don't preach from a hill. I don't preach on top of anything like I'm like a lily I'm in the muck with you just digging my way out I, I might have just taken this class last semester and I, I got a few pointers for you and there are so many of you that have been through things that I could never even dream of and I know that your energy here will be such such a benefit to me as well you know co-creation and it's so beautiful and I just want you to know that it does get better and Hope is real and the magic's real and God is real and your angels are real. And those you see in 222 and 44 and you're not crazy and it's all real. It is happening. Like it's happening to you, to me, to all of us all together. That's the point. This is how we play the game. So I'm just so thankful that you're all here. I am very much looking forward to working with you all together as a team for our own highest good, for our own development, right? To, to grow and develop ourselves in a positive manner, yes? Um, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to Santero. And if you're in the thick of it, I promise you that my life, me, Lauren B, 29 years old from New Jersey, that's a lot of rhyming. So fun for us that there is there is hope on the other side. I'm living, breathing proof of that. And I can't wait to show you the way. So I will see you very, very soon, everyone. And I hope that you're doing well and I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. And if you're having a hard time doing that, then as we do here on the Untitled Tarot, we'll walk it out, right? Right, so I will see you soon. Good night.